Okay, so I'm here at Argue in Bangalore um, with Saurabh from Turn Up. So, Saurabh, you're, you're like kind of the whiz, uh, well, uh, whiz kid of this, yeah? <laughs> I've been working on developing it for the last year or so. So this is your baby? Uh, sort of. <laughs> Maybe all of us. So to, to take, take me through what, what we're looking at here. So. Okay, sure. So, uh, the main component of the test kit is your, is your phone. Yeah. Which has the CADIS. It's an Android phone, yeah. It's an Android phone, which and it needs to complete order with the Caddisfly app. Yeah. So I'll just try run through how to use it. So each phone comes with its back case. Yeah. Right, uh, which which has this part fitted onto it to to do the test. I just so you fit the case on. Uh, oops. Okay. Then, another important part of each test is the cartridge, where you yeah. actually fill in the sample. So, what you need to do to do the test is, you first fill in the sample. Oops. So, that's water. Yeah. Then, uh, you have the, the, you fit this, you get these capsules which are filled with this reagent. Yeah. And you... Fit them on into the lid of the cartridge. Uh -huh. Then you close it, and it cracks open. It, it cracks open, and the reagent. Once, once you shake it, yeah, you see a change okay. in color. Yeah, which you then load onto your phone. There's a bit of a this is what I made earlier moment here. Okay. okay. <laughs> then yeah, then you fit it on and. So to do the test, uh, so before you do any test, you need to first calibrate the device. Yeah. So the te the kit comes with a bunch of calibration cartridges. Okay. Which you. Uh, and that's that. that's important because that that means that the camera's got the right right calibration, so it can recognise the different colour. Yeah. The different colours it's going to be seeing, so it can get the correct readings. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what how the, te the test works is it uh, it's a colour change based test. So after, once the reagent make, mixes with the water, the color changes, and the camera of the phone just compares it with these previously calibrated right. values. So then, I mean, you can start with the new location, and um, you should get from the GPS. So the idea is that the GPS is so it's using. I mean, it's using basically the latest state of the art. Android phones, or you yeah. know, it's just the mainstream Android phones, yeah. which have got, have now got really good cameras in them. Yeah, you need you need a camera. I mean, a phone which has a camera, a flash, and GPS on it. Yeah. So I mean, these are the main hardware yeah. requirements. But it's a lot easier for somebody else to have designed and manufactured those than you having to build those components yourself. Yeah, I guess, yeah. isn't it? That's that's why we yeah. decided to do fit it on the phone. Finally. Yeah, yeah. So okay, so it gets its location. Yeah. So then you go to the location, start new test. Select your test type. Right now, there's only fluoride and the bacterial yep. test. Then you can. And then you hold it that way. Yeah. Right, at the moment, you need to hold it this way because there's an air bubble that forms the top of the cartridge. Okay. And so that shouldn't interfere with the test result. So, okay. So that's the result. It's showing 0 0.1 ppm. This this was actually a previously. Uh, I'd made the sample. Yeah. Previously. It was yeah. A zero. It was zero ppm. Yeah. So there's yeah. The, there's. Uh, there's Small amount of uh, thing. Okay. Right. So, and it, it just based that on the color. And yeah. It, it could read it. Okay. So, and what we're doing. So, there's a couple of things that we're doing with you from an ACVO perspective here. One is integrating this system. So, helping you kind of work on improving, making, I mean, things like the back, starting to manufacture that, um, working out best, best methodologies for, you know, which kind of phones to use and and uh, and things like that and to get this rolled out at scale yeah. but the we're also integrating it with Acvo flow yes 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 so how's that going to work so at the moment i can sh so that's the uh does that go flow uh -huh. yeah that's so that is, isn't it yeah the okay. version 5.0 so to do that i mean once you input all these details yeah uh, you just click so on use external source. test so then it'll go to the fluoride test to the, or the caddis fly test yeah. and you can run that test yeah um and well right now i forgot to turn it upside down so yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> so that's why it's gonna error okay, okay well great um so what what are you going to be working on next to do with this 
Uh, well, the main thing we need to do is start standardizing this, even for a single phone model. Yeah. So we need to start actually manufacturing these phone cases. Rather, I mean, right now, as you can see, it's just kind of <laughs> taped to together. it with super glue. And, <laughs> and yeah, and then actually testing it properly. Okay. Great. So you telling me about your background before. So what what did you study? I've I've actually just got a, a graduate diploma in art and design right now. Yeah. But during through the uh, through that course, I actually picked up electronics along the way, and uh, I mean I was making instruments, synthesizers and stuff. So I kind of practice some electronics. Yeah. So this is kind of is it. designing instruments, isn't it, and really yeah. making them work as a yeah. service. So um, great to meet you. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks.